Bonjour. As you see by the thumbnail, you already know we're going to Paris. Are you guys ready to go to Paris? Are you ready to go to Paris? Because it is Emily in Paris. So you already know the vibe. Go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, share this video with any and everybody, and always turn your bells on to be notified when your girl drops another video. And so always see this face on your screen. So let's get into it. Pow. Bonjour. Okay, you guys. So y'all already know about a thumbnail. We are heading to Paris. Okay, y'all already know Bath and Body Works has done a collaboration with Emily in Paris. If you haven't checked it out, check it out. I watched it. It's cute. If that's your type of thing, hey, watch it. It's on Netflix. Okay. So look, I know I'm probably late and get to this video, but I have a lot going on. So we're just going to get into it. So I finally received my Emily in Paris. I got all four, but guess what? But guess what? They sent me three. Okay. So, hey, I'm going to keep it cute today because I'm looking cute. I'm going to keep it cute. And we're just going to do a review on the first three. Okay. So y'all know I'm missing one, which is Paris Amour. If you don't know, Paris Amour has been at Bath and Body Works before. It's a repackage, okay? I think it came out maybe like in 2011, something like that. So it was a fan favorite. That's the one they didn't send me. I'm not tripping about it. I guess I'm gonna get it, I don't know. But we're just gonna work with what we got. So we're gonna jump into it because I'm not gonna keep you guys long. But if you, you already, already got Emily, the Emily in Paris set from Bath and Body Works, y'all already know, drop that in the comments and let me know what it's giving. Because from what it seems like, from what it seems like, we are headed to Paris with all repackages except for one. So let's get into it, okay? So the first one is Lavender Lux, okay? Lavender Lux, and I'm gonna read the notes, okay? Okay, you guys, so I got the notes. So Lavender Lux is Lavendi de Provence, flirtatious jasmine and vanilla crush okay so those are the notes for lavender looks so let's just go ahead and just smell this and see what it's giving i haven't smelled these before i just took them out the box so this is giving like a nice soft lavender i can get that vanilla in it and i get some hints of that jasmine yeah, it's pretty nice. It's not it's not too heavy, too loud with the lavender. I think it blends so well with the vanilla and with the jasmine slide right on through. Not heavy on the floor. I think it mix and blend and combine so well. So yes, I, I like lavender looks. And it kind of put me in the mind of the lavender that was in the cleanse um collection that came out with the musk. And the, uh, what was the, the strawberry? The one that had the strawberry and the apple. I really didn't care too much for that lavender, but this one right here, it's not too bad. You know what I'm saying? It's not too bad. So it's okay. I still think it's kind of like a repackage, but it's not bad. Cause I do get that vanilla. That vanilla is coming through. And I am getting that floral note from that jasmine. Y'all know I like jasmine. I like lavender too when it's not overdoing it. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this right here was kind of like well blended, but I still think it's like a repackage or whatever. So that's my take on the lavender looks. I don't think it's a bad scent. It's okay. To me, I would wear this like fresh out the shower type of thing. Or like if I have like a perfume that has like lavender, with some vanilla with it. You know what I'm saying? If I want to spruce it up, you know, I will put this with it. But to me, this is not like a, a head banger for me. You get what I'm saying? It's, it's just okay. Okay. It's okay. So that's the first one. Lavender loves. So the next one you guys is macaron cloud. And I feel like this is a repackage. Um, I don't know exactly from what, but I feel like I don't seen this macaron, macaroon somewhere. Okay, so we just gonna get into the notes and see what this is giving. So the macaroon cloud is a scent of macaroon delight, 
Parisian spun sugar and pink berries. Right off the bat, it sounds like something Beth and Body Works already don't have, okay? So, yeah. Just let me find out Beth and Body Works did a collab with Emily in Paris and we and taking us to Paris with all repackages, okay? So, yeah, this to me, I don't care for macaroons, first of all. That's not my, that's not my type of thing. I don't like them. My daughter, she loves them. I don't care for them. But I am getting that macaroon cookie vibe. You know, that's a that's a a, a Paris thing, the macaroons. I am getting like hints of sugary sugariness in it. But it's very light in the top. So let me just spray it on my hand and see what it's giving. Cause it's giving. It's giving very light. So yeah, I get the cookie, the cookie vibe, slightly cookie vibe from that macaroon. I am getting like that sugary from that sponge sugar, and I'm getting like a slightly hint of the berries. And it's very light on my skin. I can barely smell it. So I guess this was supposed to be like the gourmand one at the collection. But it's giving very, very, very light. All my sis is not even there. So yeah, I'm not too pleased with this collection. If I may be honest. It's just okay. Yes, the macaroon cloud to me is given very light, almost not even in existence. Okay, like I said, I get hints of that macaroon, that cookie note, just hints of it. I get some sugary. I do get like the sugary from that sponge sugar and just a slightly hint of the berry note. Okay. This is supposed to be gourmand. I feel like this should have been very strong, giving you very much so of yum, yum, eat it up, eat it up, eat it up, okay? But to me, it's not really giving. And it's light. It's very light on my skin. I can smell it, but it's very, very, very light. So yes, macaroon cloud is giving cloud up in the air, lost somewhere, okay? So yes, that's my take on that one. And the last one, I do believe is new. And this is Champagne and Paris, okay? I believe this is the one that's new, okay? Champagne and Paris. So let me get the notes and we're gonna, you know, get into some things. Okay, you guys. So I got the notes for Champagne and Paris. And the notes is Champagne Spritz, Elderberry Fizz, and Lily of the Valley. Now, Lily of the Valley can be a hit and miss for me, okay? Sometimes I love it in the fragrance, and sometimes it's just doing too much, sis. So, let's get into it. Okay, so it's, to me, right off the bat, that champagne note is giving me the vibes of champagne and toast. It really is. I do like this. It smells good. I do get that elderberry note. I was just thinking like, dang, is elderberry in here? Duh, you just said it, sis. So that champagne note, what is it? Champagne fizz or something like that. It kind of give me like a resemblance of champagne and toast. They say this is the new one, but to me, it's giving me the vibe of champagne toast. But then I get the slightly notes of that elderberry. I must say the Lily of the Valley is done right in this fragrance. It's not overdoing it. It blends well. To me so far, after, whole, after this collection right here that's in front of me, Champagne in Paris to me smells amazing. It do. It really do. It really do. I like the way it smells. It, it's, it's like a bright, fizzy, you know what I'm saying, type of fragrance. Do I feel like this is something new? Um, something that they just home run at the park? No, I feel like this can be a repackage of something as well, even though they did say this was new. 
I don't know, sis, but to me, it kind of slightly put me in the same family. The champagne toast. The elderberry do smells pretty good in here. I must admit, and like I said, that lily of the valley, it's in the back. It's in the back. You know what I'm saying? It's not in the forefront. It's in the back. So it's slightly floral, very slightly. You know what I'm saying? But to me, this is a very, a very bright, fizzy, champagne-y, bubbly type of fragrance. So out of all three that's in front of me, this to me smells the best. Okay. So yeah, pair some more. I don't have it. Like I said, Bath and Body Works don't have that scent. So it's like a repackage. It's a fan favorite. So I don't know if it's giving the same vibe as it was before. So I don't know if I'm going to get it or not. So it is what it is. But out of the three that I have, Champagne in Paris smells the best to me. Macaron, Macaron Cloud is up in the cloud. Lost somewhere because I cannot smell it. So it's a no. And Lavender Lux is an okay scent. I feel like it is a repackage from the Cleanse Collection. You know what I'm saying? It is strong. I can smell it very well in the top. So this will be like my second favorite. To me, I would wear this straight out the shower. Out the shower scent, period, sis. You know what I'm saying? It's not nothing that I would scream and rave about. It's just okay. So yeah. That's my take on Emily in Paris collection. I feel like it's just okay. It's not, it's not really given to me, sis. Y'all drop in the comments. Let me know how y'all feel about the Emily in Paris collection. Bath and Body Works. Cause I feel like they could have did a little bit better than what they did. And of course they left off one of mine's Paris Amour. So I'm not going to drag them today because I'm feeling good. I'm looking cute. And it is what it is. So yes, that's my take on the new, well, half new slash repackage of the Emily in Paris collection. So yeah, you guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little review. Please thumbs up the video. Please share my videos with any, everybody. I always turn your bell so if you notified when your girl pop out and do another video. And please, 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 please be safe. Always be blessed. Shout out to all my besties in the building. Shout out to all my new besties that's coming aboard. Welcome. I love each and every one of you, especially to the ones that really rocking with your girl. And with that being said, I'm up out of here. Au revoir. Peace.